Hello, Kirk McDow here with ContributionSelling.com. Uh, today's question I'm going to answer is um, how to develop a sales training program. How to develop a sales training program. Uh, one of my favorite topics. I love developing programs. I've developed a sales training program called Contribution Selling. Uh, the URL will be in the description, ContributionSelling.com. I've got some free training there. <clears throat> in an invitation to uh, get on my calendar for 30 minutes and apply some of that training to a real world selling situation in your life. So uh, contributionselling.com. So uh, how to develop a sales training program. Um, so a couple things. Uh, first of all, a sales training program for what? <laughs> so is this a general sales training program introducing the idea of sales, creating new context and possibilities around sales. I've got a book called Contribution Selling that's kind of that, right? It kind of breaks down um, what selling has been in the past and what it could be in the future, essentially a form of manipulation. Most sales training programs that I've encountered uh, over my 30 something years, <laughs> 30 something, 40 something, 30 something, long time. Anyway, um, uh, is uh, sales training tends to be uh, ever more subtle forms of manipulating people to get them to do something, agree with something, uh, you know, say yes, write a check, sign the agreement, whatever it is. So, um, so, or you could create a sales training program for a specific thing. So I also lead a, a leadership program uh, called the visionary program where we uh, train coaches and consultants and people who want to make a living with their expertise. Uh, we train them to uh, have a, a beautiful niche that resonates with their with them personally and their history and what they've accomplished and overcome in their past, uh, solve a very specific problem uh, from their past. We call it mess to message uh, technology, the mess to message master plan, if you will. Um, and then um, and then we teach them how to sell it. Right. And what we teach them is not how to be great salespeople. What we teach them is how to be the real deal. Right. Get your integrity cleaned up from the inside. Be someone who people could trust. Right. Be someone who people can trust. And by the way, I'm not talking about the obvious stuff like um, you probably don't go around beating people up and stealing cars and stuff. But being someone who who people could trust, like being the kind of person people want to do business with. Right. And if you look for yourself, there's actually some characteristics of the person, the ideal person you would like to do business with. How do I know that? Because it's kind of universal, right? Uh, the big reveal is everybody's kind of looking for the same thing, right? So when you interact with a salesperson, you're looking for someone to solve your problem. You're looking for someone to take care of you in some way, make things better, someone to listen attentively to what you're dealing with and what you're committed to and what the challenges have been, and someone who can offer a solution that is actually a solution to the actual problem, right? <laughs> a solution that makes things better. Uh, and then um, someone to guide you through the solution, help you, assist you, make sure you get the best outcome and results, right? So that's just everybody wants that, right? Uh, in other words, the real deal. Well, that's what I call the real deal, right? Someone who is what they say they are. They're not uh, using flowery language and, you know, psychological techniques to, you know, close you, right? They're actually like care for you and they're speaking to you as though you were someone that they really cared for and loved and was, were, were trying to assist, right? So you probably want that. You want to interact with someone who actually is going to be the real deal with regard to actually having an interest in your welfare, an actual solution to your problem, and listening keenly and attentively enough so that they come up with a solution that's relevant and important and could actually make a difference for you, right? So uh, everybody's looking for that. So how I would develop a sales training program is to get people cleaned up from the inside out, right? Um, my programs sort of have a, a hallmark to them, you know, integrity, inspiration, authenticity, uh, being a contribution, being a great receiver, uh, and then on to acknowledgement. And uh, while that may sound like not a direct correlate to sales, I assure you it's a, it's a, um, it's a state changer. It's a, Oh my gosh, right? Sales could be a form of articulating like who you are from the most highest resonant and most inspired uh, trajectory. Like 
uh, maybe selling is communicating who you are, what you're here for, what the problem is that you're here to solve, and articulating your real dealness, right? Like you're one of the good guys, you're one of the or one of the good gals, you're one of the people who spend less time figuring figuring out how to sell and more time how to be the real deal so that that real dealness comes across in conversations and interactions with prospective clients, right? What you'll, I think what you'll notice, I've certainly noticed, and I guess it's an opinion that I have, is that when you're the real deal for someone, like you're actually there, ego aside, personal agenda aside, and you're there at your highest state, open heart, clear mind, ready to contribute, fully prepared, fully, you know, fed and watered and cleaned and groomed and ready to rock and roll, right? Uh, when you're really there for someone else, people notice that and people, that's what people want to do business with, right? So um, that's not particularly difficult, actually, right? You have to clear your mindset, right? To uh, one from scarcity and manipulation. Oh my gosh, I need to lie, cheat and steal to get this deal or I can't pay my rent. Like that is no way to approach anything, right? What I recommend instead is organize yourself to be the biggest, baddest contribution you can possibly muster, right? And then learn how to articulate that in such a way that people want some of that. People want their version of what you're offering, right? And then you listen very keenly to what people want and then you sell them what they want and make sure they get what they need. For example, right, my big selling proposition is, uh, you know, the three massive mistakes uh, business consultants make that keep them from making irresistible sales offers. So people want to make irresistible sales offers. People in my line of business, consultants and coaches, whatnot, we want to make offers that people just can't say no to, right? Now, so I sell that and I provide that. I show people how to make offers that are just irresistible, right? But what they really need is breakthroughs and integrity and inspiration and authenticity and being a contribution, being a great receiver and being able to acknowledge people. What they need is to be masters in those arenas and then the selling is just a no deal. The selling just lays down for you, right? Because when you're someone who, when you're a human being who is independently responsible for their integrity, you know, you honor your word and you're, you're crisp with your word. When people know when you say you're going to do something, they can actually relax and it's either going to get handled or, you know, accounted for beautifully with high integrity, right? Uh, let's, so let's say you're a human being who's independently responsible for your integrity, right? And then on top of that, you're a human being that's independently responsible for your inspiration. Have you noticed when you're in a high state of inspiration, your integrity's in and you're really inspired, um, things are just easier. People wanna, people wanna play with you. People wanna, wanna do whatever you're up to, right? So if you're in a high state of integrity, high state of inspiration, and oh my gosh, the next space is authenticity. You're the human being who says the thing that nobody says, opens up the whole space so that everybody can be real and authentic with each other, right? You're that person because you're authentic. You're saying the thing that no one says, right? You're saying the thing that's true for you and allowing other people the same. So you create the possibility of other people people being authentic around you by your authenticity, all right? So, so check it out. Integrity, inspiration, authenticity, moving on to being a contribution, right? You'll notice when your heart is open and your mind is clear and you're well taken care of, you desire to contribute to people. I went to this massive three-day transformational weekend a bunch of years ago, and uh, the leader asked two questions that altered the trajectory of my life. Question number one, who here loves to contribute to people? And everybody's, yeah, yeah, I love to contribute, woohoo, right? Great, second question, who here is easy to contribute to? You know, out of 150 people, like three hands go up, right? So you can kind of see how that drives people crazy. Everybody wants to contribute to each other, meanwhile, letting no one to, to contribute to them, right? So. That's the next space, the space of contribution. So we got integrity, inspiration, authenticity, contribution. And then people in our line of work, heart-centered coaches and whatnot, tend to overgive, right? It's kind of a pattern, right? We think it's better to give than receive, which is baloney, right? So the next space is learning how to be a world-class receiver so that you can be a world-class giver. If you have nothing to give, you, you have nothing to give. If you have a lot to give, you can be an awesome world-class giver. So receiving is critical. And then that next space is acknowledgement. Be someone 
that everyone else gets to be big around. Like you're acknowledging other people, people get to be bigger. That which you acknowledge gets bigger, you're creative and transformational and what you choose to acknowledge in other people. It's not like, hey, great tie. It's like, hey, I notice you really care about people. That's beautiful. Hey, I, I notice you're the real deal about something, right? Like acknowledge people about what they'd like to be acknowledged for, like what they put work into, and what they're proud of about themselves, right? Okay, good. So that's an example of giving people what they want. Hey, I want to make irresistible offers. You give them what they need and you can start to see how someone who was already centered in their career and trained, they get their integrity, inspiration, authenticity, contribution, receiving, and acknowledgement all cleaned up and dialed up and world class and boom, it's a different kind of human being out there. Uh, being of service to the world. All right, so so that's that's an idea. So the question was uh, how to uh, how to how to develop a sales training program. So for me, it's a program that addresses, you know, the technical skills and the 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 whatever it is you're selling. Like you understand what you're selling, right? And you're great at it. And then the part that's really magic is the part that just created integrity, inspiration, authenticity, giving, receiving, and acknowledgement. All right, so that's the give them what they want and make sure they get what they need. Anywho, got free training for you at contributionselling.com. We'd love to share that with you. Uh, if you have questions about any of this or have a question for me after the training, I'd love to talk to you. All that's available at contributionselling.com. Thanks a lot.